Hello everyone, welcome to Nitya Cloud Tech. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about the functions uh, and uh, map function and lambda. So how these things work? Let's start. So function basically we use in Python. Uh, in Python, even in other programming as well, the purpose of function is whenever we need to reuse our code at that time we use function so let's see one example so for declaring function in python we use def and then let's say uh, i'm creating very simple function my fu function i can give name and then let's say i want to pass one value here so df basically this is the syntax and this is the function name and this is the parameter which I am going to pass. So again, after that, I need to write this colon indentation basically, and I can print this param value. Okay. Now, if I need to call this function, so what I will do? I will just type my function, and I can pass the parameter value. Let's say hello. So see, it has written the value hello. Okay. Now let's say if you want to pass the name, so you can simply here type name and here also type name. And let's say I need to pass John. So see, John. Okay. Now, let's say if you need to concatenate the function. So, how you will do? Uh, let's say uh, this is the function syntax would be same. In the print statement, you can put hello in between inverted comma and after that space and you can concatenate using plus sign. Okay, now let's say if I pass the value, let's say my function. So see, now it has written hello and after that name, John. So whatever name I will pass, I will get it here. Let's say Ricky. Okay. Now suppose if I don't need to pass anything, so I can also choose here default name. So default name, I can give default name. So now if you see, I'm not passing anything in my function. So I need to first execute this and after that I can execute this. So this is a simple function basically. Uh, we are uh, printing in this function and we are uh, basically whatever function name we are passing the parameter. Now, let me show you another example. So DEF, let's say I want to create function for a square, a square and number is let's say N and uh, I can say, so here I will use return, return N into N. It means whatever number I will pass, it will return the square of that number. So let me show you. Okay. So let's say I can type square and uh, then let's say I, if I pass four, so it will return 16. If I pass two, it will return four. So it will work accordingly, whatever you will pass. Similarly, I can create function for cube as well. So let's, let's say df and then cube and now this time I will multiply n for three times. Okay. And then cube, let's say if I pass two, it will return the eight. 
okay and uh, if i pass 4 it will return the 64 If I pass 4, it will return the 64. Okay. Now, let's talk about map. So, how map works? So, before uh, talking about map, let me show you one example with the for each loop. Uh, basically, for loop. So, let's say I have taken this item and in the item, I'm taking one list. 1, 2, 3, 4. So these all are list element and now let's see I need to iterate this so I can simply iterate this for item for i in item okay so one by one it will iterate now let's say I need to call this one two three four into my square function so what I, I, I can do print square. So square, this is my function and I can pass the value, this item value. So this item value is coming into the I one by one. So I can pass here I. Okay. So now what will happen? So one will come first. So it will return one and then four and then nine and 16. So it will return all these value. Let me show you. See. 1, 4, 9, 16. What happened here? Let me show you again. So here I have taken one variable item and in that variable I have passed this list. Okay. And I have one function called square. Now my item value is iterating one by one here. And in the print here I have used my square function and I have passed one by one value. So first time one come then one multiply one it has written one and second time two come then two multiply two so on okay now let's see if i don't want to use for in this specific thing so we also have one option to use map so in map basically we can do same thing in similar in single line okay so map is basically we use for performance purpose and whenever we have to write a, uh, you know, short code at that time, we can use map. So let me show you how we can use. So we can simply type map and map have two parameter. First one is, let me show you two parameter. First one is function. What is your function name? And second one is iteration. What iteration it means what all element you are going to map from this function. So in our case, our function is square. We are going to use and our iteration is basically we are going to use this item. So this uh, item will pass one by one on this function and then it will show the same result which I have you know showed you using for loop so let me show you so map uh, our function name is square and iteration parameter name is item okay now if I print this then it will not give the result exactly it will give the map object id to printing this i need to uh, convert it into list to show the result actually so see now 14916 we have used using for loop and similarly we are seeing here okay so here we can also use cube so in case of cube it will return the let's say 2 into 2 and multiply to 8 and for 3 it will return the 27 and for 4 it will return the 64 let me show you see 1 8 2 7 64 similarly if i pass cube here 
it will return the same. See. Okay. So now what's happening here? Uh, we are uh, exactly calling the function. So we need to write a function. So if we even don't want to use function, so we also have lambda here in the Python. So lambda is basically we we even don't need to write a function. Lambda is uh, you can call it anonymous function, anonymous because uh, there is no name of lambda function. Let me show you the syntax. We can achieve the same thing one eight twenty seven sixty four using lambda without calling function. So let me show you. So we can simply write map and instead of calling Q, I will write lambda here. Okay. Now I'm looking for, let's say square. So X multiply two. So I'm saying here, I'm whatever the X value, I will uh, multiply for that value by two and then save it into this X. And here I will pass the same item. So in item first time one will pass, then it will multiply one into two like this. So here we don't need to even write the function name. Okay. Now let me show you. I need to convert this into list to show the result. See two, four, six, eight. If I, you know, uh, multiply, let's say X multiply X, then it will return the square. And if I multiply three times, then it will return the cube. See one eight two seven sixty four one eight two seven sixty. Okay, so same thing we did using lambda here. We even did not use the function. And in the for each loop, we or we have just called the function name. But here we have to type multiple lines. Here we did in the single line uh, using map but we have to call function here but in lambda we even didn't do not need to call function okay so this is uh, basically provide the high performance so i hope uh, i'll able to explain this clearly thank you everyone